Greetings, brothers and sisters. We bear witness once again there's only one true living God. He have no partners, he have no rivals, he have no associates, and by all means, he have no equals. We associate none to be greater than the one true living God of heaven and earth. He is God alone, the master of all creation. He didn't have no help when he made everything. As many religions teach that Jesus was a little God and Jehovah was the big God. No, Jesus Christ is and was and shall forever be God himself. We thank him for the way of holiness and the message that God had revealed to his servants, the apostles, and opened up their understanding. That's one of the greatest days in life, is when your understanding come open. Again, to all of our viewers, we are in the second day of our first combined European conference that's being held here in the Netherlands, and it looks beautiful to see the many brothers and sisters that are here so far. Last night, 17 went down in the water in the name of Jesus Christ. The gospel of Jesus Christ is the best thing that God ever gave man. It's the greatest invitation to learn the wisdom of God, the knowledge of God, and the rules and regulations that God has implemented to govern everybody. God didn't do what man does now. We all know that man give us a variety of religions, and every last one of them is wrong. God had never trusted no man, no time, nowhere, and gave him license to start religion. Because whenever man starts something, his opinion is in it, his philosophy is in it, his theory is in it, his ideology is in it and is full of his opinions from the beginning to the end. And that's why God don't trust man because man's opinion changed too much. Man will sell his opinion for money. He'll change it for money, he'll change it for popularity, he'll change it for notoriety, or he'll change it for some woman or women. And today he's changing it for men. But God, he said, I'm a God that changed not. For this cause, the sons of Jacob shall not be consumed. So we are indebted to him. You know, while the children choirs were singing and the European mass choir was singing, I had to thank God for the vision that he gave me over 46 years ago. Amen. I have to give God thanks because those that was with us when we got started, like Williams and Ravenel and my wife, and about 12 or 13 or 15 of the others, they heard me tell them about the vision. I didn't eat some beans and, and had a bad dream at night. Oh, no. This world traveling that we are doing, and the thousands that are coming to walk with the word of God was shown to be in the vision many years ago. And I began to tell people about it long before I was Pastor Jennings. And to travel from country to country and witness the mighty hand of God. You know, when God says something, it doesn't matter who opposes it. When God speaks, the world have to hear. Whether you obey it or not is up to you. But God himself is going to give you a chance to hear it. When I look at the 
European mass choir, I thought of High Wycombe, England. <laughs> and the few that we had there, but they sung to the glory of God. But now, looking at different representatives of different countries now, singing to God's glory. You know God is good, isn't he? And one thing, there's a song that they used to sing. I, 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 I really don't sing it. And when I came up in falsehood, he never failed me yet. Yeah, to say yet is an insult because it sounds like you're waiting for something else to happen. No, he just don't fail at all. It's impossible for God to fail. It's impossible for God to lie. Whenever God declare a thing, God lives up to his word all the time. It doesn't matter, hear me good, how long it takes for that word to come to pass. If God said it, it's going to be just like God said. So many will find that the truth of God is different from what they're used to seeing in church. I'm not blowing on you so you can fall out. If God knock you down, then let God pick you up. You don't need my help. You won't find no fake healing meeting. We believe that God is a healer, but if God don't heal you, that's between you and God. <clears throat> We don't have no money line, no $1,000 prayer line, $500 prayer line. You know, it went up now. Benny Hinn got a $10,000 prayer line and up. By the time you're done, you're going to need prayer because you're going to be broke, God knows. <laughs> so our interest, brothers and sisters, is to call your attention to one thing. Not the religion of men, but the standards of Almighty God. Whether you are atheist, non-denominational, unbeliever, Scientologist, God ain't impressed with you. You were created by the same God that made heavens and earth. And brother, as I often say, one thing that everybody in the world has in common you all arrive the same way. Nobody have to go to each other and ask them, well, how were you born? We all got here the same way. Naked, the Bible says we came into the world, and naked we shall return. Now, I want to say again to all the brothers and sisters back in America that uh, this Sunday coming, God willing, the week of the 25th, we will be having our uh, convention meeting with our convention team and also the photographers throughout America. Please be in headquarters. That Sunday, the meeting will be at 4 o'clock. God be our helper. <clears throat> also, as you know, we are preparing for the closing year convocation in Philadelphia. I do hope to see many from England, Belgium, Germany, Switzerland, Ireland, and Philippines and so many other parts of the world. We've been waiting a long time to dedicate this main auditorium. And I strongly advise you, you're going to have to get there early to get your seat. Even though the auditorium can hold about 3,000 and the gymnasium over 1,000 and the lower auditorium over 1,000, they will be filled in no time. So I strongly advise you to get there early. Remember, the closing year convocation is December 28th through the 31st. Make your plans to be there and witness along with us another milestone. You know, God give us victory everywhere we go. <clears throat> That's a testimony within itself. We're never stuck. I don't care what city, what town, what village, what country. God of heaven, never leave the truth of God stuck. So we hope that you make plans. <clears throat> now to all of the brothers and sisters that are listening and watching out of Valdosa, Georgia. God has blessed us. We have our new temple in Valdosa, Georgia now. 
God willing, listen up for the announcement. We will be flying back to your area to let you know what date you'll be walking through your new temple to all of my construction team that's in Augusta, Georgia, Atlanta, Georgia, and Valdosa, Georgia. Get ready to make plans when I give the date. When we get there, have your tools ready. We start work the same day. We go to work the same day. Also, also to the First Church of the Lord Jesus Christ of Cape Town, South Africa. Well, God did it again. Amen. God willing, we will be closing on our new Cape Town, South African temple. Amen. So we thank God for that as well. Be listening out for the date where you'll get a chance to do your walkthrough and praise God. You know, God just makes provisions for the church. Now, I'm looking throughout all of Europe. Amen. I'm going to pull all the churches that are renting places out of them. I don't like making other folk rich. It's a wonderful thing to have your own. And this is why we have organized our expansion program. And this expansion program is international. We're pulling all of our resources together throughout America, Canada, South America, Africa, Europe, Asia, every place. And all the brothers and sisters of First Church is sacrificing $1,000 a year. We are over 10,000 strong. Over that. And if we come together and sacrifice a year, it won't be no city, no town, no village where we can go and leave without buying a temple cash. And we don't have to borrow nothing from no banks. I'm telling you, it's been a blessing. So far, many temples have been purchased cash, bought it straight out by God's permission, and we thank God for that. We just bought a temple in Canada this year, and I thank God for Canada. We was there a few weeks ago, and uh, the saints of God poured together, and when they poured together all their resources, do you know Canada by itself by itself, Canada raised over $1.1 million cash by themselves. Amen. And then headquarters, we gave them the balance that we may buy the temple in Canada cash, and we have no mortgage. Absolutely none. So this is what we are encouraging everybody to do. That way when we go to Switzerland and Ireland and throughout England, I want to be able, because your property over here is extremely high. But uh, as a church, we don't have to borrow from banks and all of that stuff. If we borrow $1,000 from the bank and then end up paying them 500000 back, why, we can keep that within the church ourselves. Not only are we buying churches, but we're looking to open up businesses for the church that we may give employment to them that are unemployed. Amen. A lot of folks say, well, Pastor Jennings, uh, you're the first preacher we met that worked. That's right. I'm a working man. Amen. I roll up my sleeves. I got a job. I got a large family, and the Gabriel ain't bringing manna from heaven. I believe in old-fashioned work, and you can't be afraid to work. Uh, we are starting a farmland that the Lord blesses us with in, uh, in Georgia, over 33 acres that was given to the church. And the brothers out there then cleaned certain areas of the land off and built the shed, and we're building another shed where we can have an outdoor tabernacle seating over 2,000 saints, a place where saints can come together ever so time of year outdoors and just enjoy God with one another. Amen. Amen. And so, and I believe that's beautiful. I believe there's a pond there that you'll be able to fish and 
areas of the land where you can be able to gun and go hunting. It's a sad thing we can't hunt false prophets like that. If I can hunt false prophets like that, brother, I have my gear on all the time. <laughs> but the Lord is truly blessing the church, and I'm all about the progress and the success of the church, wherein most preachers is all about the progress of their pocket. I don't want what you have. I want your soul, because your soul belongs to God. And one thing I know of the truth, that if the love of God is in any man and any woman, you're going to give God all of yourself. Now, the gospel of God is outlined in the Bible, not only for us to hear, but to believe. Many people read the scriptures or go to church, but many people have their choice scriptures to believe. Imagine, you select what to believe and you select what not to believe. All of God's word is perfect, true, and right. There are no errors, no flaws, and nothing that God ever said. All the errors, all the mistakes, all the flaws are in us, the human family. God set a standard for all humanity to live by. And I must admit, it's hard. It's right, but it's hard. It's firm, but it's hard. So who can we rely on to help us out other than God? And God let us know that he won't forsake us as long as we don't forsake him. I know preachers have told you that God will never leave you. Let's go to work in 2 Chronicles. Chapter 15. The 15th chapter. And we'll start at verse 1. All right, follow me in the Bible. Kind of turn Brother Williams up. Give him a little bit more juice back there. All right, let's have it. 2 Chronicles chapter 15, and we're starting at the very first verse. Follow me. And the Spirit of God came upon Azariah, the son of Odi. Uh -huh. And he went out to meet Asa and said unto him, Hear ye me, Asa, and all Judah and Benjamin. Now the Spirit of the Lord came upon him. As I have said on countless occasions, that's what's missing in church today. Spirit of the Lord is not in this stuff that is out here today. That's why so much have came in the church and reversed it. It's no longer a place of refuge where one can seek the Lord for deliverance and true change. That's right. It had became a place so sin can be fair-seeming and accepted. That's right. The word of the Lord is ignored and not respected the way it was in the days of old. You know, in my travel, I hear thousands of testimonies. And there's one particular testimony that I have heard from people of every nationality that I've met is that the truth of God's message have given them hope again. That's right. It gave them hope in church again because church now is an embarrassment to God. It just went so far to left field, you don't know what is church and what is the party and the club. That's right. Because today the so-called Christian is afraid to be different. That's right. Years ago, you may knew who was a child of God or not. But today, everything is trying to be mixed. That's right. And want to be the same. I count it an honor. Hmm. I count it a privilege to not be counted as a sinner. That's right. It's wonderful, it's wonderful. that they don't get me mixed up with Scientologists. That's right. Mixed up with bigotry. Amen. Atheists. 
non-denominational, Pentecostal, yes. apostolic. I'm glad you don't get me mixed up with none of them. I want to be recognized by what's in the scriptures. And that ye may put difference yeah, 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 this. in the book of Leviticus chapter 10 and at verse 10. That ye may put, put difference, difference between holy between holy and unholy. What else? And between unclean and, and clean. You know, church folk today are afraid to be different. That's right. And I, and I see it more and more. That's right. They call me a primitive preacher. Primitive. <laughs> That's right. As if I'm a caveman preacher. That's right. One Bible scholar wrote me and said, well, what you preach is outdated. Imagine that. God's word is outdated. My Lord. He wrote me a letter and said, uh, you're behind the times. Hmm. No, I'm up to date with what's going on. That's right. There are two things going on in the earth. Just two. Just two. God and evil. That's right. Well, that settles that argument. They have put no difference. In the Bible. In the book of Ezekiel chapter 22 and verse 26. They have put no difference. Between the holy. Between the holy. And profane. I want to say to all followers of the Lord Jesus Christ around the world, the scriptures is here to make you different. <laughs> That's right. That's Are right. you listening to me? That's right. Give chapter and verse again. That was in the book of Ezekiel, chapter 22 and verse 26. That's what? They have put no difference. They have put no difference. Between the holy. Between the holy. And profane. And profane. Neither have they shown Neither difference. Neither have they shown difference. Between the unclean. Between the unclean. And the clean. Glory to God. That's right. That's right. Get what I'm telling you. The scriptures is here. God's word is here to make his people different. That's right. That's right. That's why it is written, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Second Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 17. Do you hear this? Therefore, if any man. You, yeah, if you are ashamed. Yes. Embarrassed. <laughs> Amen. Scared. Concerned about what folks think of you or what they say. That's right. Because you're different. Then you are ashamed of Jesus himself. That's right. Why do you think they took up stones and wanted to kill, kill Jesus him. and made mockery of him? That's right. Crucified him. That's right. Because he came not as the scribes and the Pharisees. Look at his students, the apostles. That's right. They come along standing for the same thing. Amen. What happened to them? Stone in jail. That's right. Stone in jail, some murdered. Why? Why? They were different. That's right. Hey, you had Philip went on down to Samaria. The apostles heard that Samaria had received the word of God. That's right. The Holy Ghost didn't fall on them yet in Samaria, but they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Then the apostles came in town. Yeah. Thank God and lay hands on them and the Holy Ghost fell on them. That's right. But there was a wicked man nearby named Simon. Simon. <laughs> he wanted to buy the Holy Ghost. That's right. And he offered money. Offered them money. Because he saw something that was opposite. He never witnessed before. That's right. But my God, when the apostle Peter got a hold of Simon, look at what he says. Repent therefore of in this God wickedness. The back of the apostle. Acts chapter 8, and we'll start at verse 20. What did he tell But him? But Peter said unto him, Peter said to him, Thy money perish with thee. That's what I'm telling the world. That's it. That's what you're saying. Salvation is free. You don't have to pay to be right. That's right. Don't feel bad if you ain't got nothing to put in no offering plate. Amen. Don't you know the greatest offering you give God is not money? That's right. The greatest offering you give God is your life. That's it. Are you listening to me? That's right. So when you find these preachers over social media and on television telling you if you give an X amount of money, God will give it to you 1,000 fold, 200 fold, 300 fold. I mean, there was one false prophet came to America and had a meeting and told the people that the Lord told him to tell them that if you want to lose weight, my Lord, if you want to lose weight, 
Give $500. Do you know them fools got in line? <laughs> My Lord. And they ain't lost no weight at all. Amen. <laughs> yeah, I don't believe in that hypocrisy. If we want to do something in the church, I ain't going to get up and squint my eyes like Robert Tilton or Jimmy Swaggart That's and right. act like voices are talking in my head. I'm going to tell you, all right, look, we need a church in such and such a place. Let's pull our resources together so we can buy it. We need a church over there in Birmingham and Manchester and London and High Wycombe and Ireland and Scotland. Let, I ain't going to tell you, oh, voice, no, there ain't no voice. I'm not crazy. <laughs> That's right. And I'm too scared to tell a lie on God. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. Don't be afraid of being different. Being different. Simon knew that what the apostles had was not what he had. That's right. It was different from different. anything he saw. That's right. His ignorance was on display. Imagine offering money to buy the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is God. Amen. And the apostle Peter said what? But Peter said unto him, thy money perish with thee. Oh, it's a God. Amen. Thy money perish with thee. Thou perish with thee. Why? Because thou hast thought that oh, the gift of God, God. You thought that the gift of God. May be purchased with money. May be purchased with money. Thou hast neither part you, nor lot in this matter. When he told him you don't have no part or lot in this matter, he's telling Simon, you don't have nothing to do with what's right. Thou hast neither part nor lot in this matter. And but thy heart is not right in what? the sight. Thy heart is not right in the sight of God. Heart is now, not right. you that are here, is your heart right tonight? That's it. If your heart is wrong, ask God to create in you. That's it. A clean heart. Clean heart. And renew in you a right spirit. A right spirit. That's right. Because. The heart is the most deceitful thing desperately. and desperately wicked. And in order for us to get close to God, our heart must get right. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit. Glory to God. In the book of Psalms 51 and verse 17. What is it, son? The sacrifices of God. The sacrifices, the offerings of God. Are a broken spirit. It's a broken spirit. A broken and a contrite heart, Do oh God. Do you hear this? Amen. When your spirit is broken. Amen. God wants to break your spirit. That's right. What do you mean? Break your will. That's right. The nature of man is to rebel. Yeah. Whenever God say, do something right, have you noticed man do something opposite? That's right. Have you noticed that among the human family? That's right. Every time God lay down a law, man cuss it, man <laughs> fight it, man rebel. Look at the days of Noah. God instructed Noah to build an ark for the saving of his house. Yes. And the people of the earth had the chance to escape the flood. Right. But instead of escaping the flood, they made mockery of the message that God gave Noah. That's right. The animals was more intelligent than dumb man. <laughs> That's right. The animals went in. Went in. Hard head, stubborn, rebellious, arrogant, self righteous man yeah. stayed out. Amen. Every time God set up something Amen. for people's salvation, for people's deliverance, for people to be rescued, Rescue. they reject it. That's right. They reviled it. Yeah. They turned against it. Oh, Look yes. at God sent Moses down to Egypt. Right. Brought the Israelites out of the land of Egypt. They came on out happy for a while. For a while. After they came out, what happened? They turned against Moses. That's right. The very one that God used to bring them out the land of Egypt. That's right. Man today. God repented for making man. Amen. You don't read where God repented for making cows and insects and fowls of the air and cattle. God ain't never repented for making that. No. God only repented for making man, Amen. which shows you man have really grieved God. That's right. Are right, you listening to what I'm telling you? That's right. Man, the members of the human family, you have grieved the almighty God. God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth. Do you hear this? In the book of Genesis chapter 6 and verse 5. Who saw it? God saw. God saw. You see, man don't think he's wicked. No. 
No! Oh, no. Man, I cuss you out so quick and think nothing of it. That's right. He smoked, he drank, he gambled. You know what he said? Oh, there's nothing wrong with it. <laughs> That's right. He get tattoos all over his body. Oh, he yeah. said, well, Mr. Preacher, I don't see nothing wrong with that. The Bible ain't never said anything about that. It didn't. It didn't. Give me the book of Leviticus. In the book of Leviticus, chapter 19. I don't blame you because you don't know. Right. These things that are in the Bible that God forbid, but people go to churches that don't preach Bible. They go to churches that just give you a motivational message. That's right. God wants to motivate you to live right and escape the judgment that's coming. That's right. Man-made preachers just motivate you to make you calm, happy, happy, nice, and you have no disdain for sin. That's right. Listen to me, God. In the book of Leviticus, chapter 19 and verse 20. I just want to get you tattooed where then I come back. Amen. I come back to what the word of God said. Listen and follow me for you that don't know it's in the Bible. In Leviticus, chapter 19. I want it to be good for you young folk who got in mind to get your ink. Right. <laughs> That's right. Amen. It may be smooth now, but as you get older, that ink going to get like a brand new crisp dollar bill when it been balled up. <laughs> That's right. Get a soon backslide. Oh, yes. Hear me, God? In Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 28. This is Bible here. Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead. Ye shall not make any cuttings in the flesh for the, for dead. the dead. And dead have more than one meaning in the Bible. That's right. Dead is not just narrowed down to the cemetery. No. Sin is considered death. That's right. For the Bible says she that live in pleasure is dead while she lives. While she Are lives. you listening? Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 28. What is it? Ye shall not make any cunnings in your flesh for the dead. What else? Nor print. Wait. Nor what? Nor print. Nor what? Nor print. Nor print. Any marks upon you. Who said it? I am the Lord. Nor print any marks upon you. I now, now, am the now, Lord. Now, when that tattoo shop hear this message, and that tattoo owner that owned the shop got in mind to get right with God, That's he right. got to shut that business down. That's right. Now, people would say, That's too extreme, Pastor Jenny. All that money that I'm making, right. you came here without a dime, and you're going to die without a dime. That's right. Hear me good? Hear me good? I don't care how wealthy you are, it ain't a wealthy man died and took his money with him. No, he didn't. Not one. Not one. All the celebrities, that's one thing I said, like I said last night. The death angel is not prejudice. No. The death angel don't come to your door and you rich, and he come creeping around there, and you say, oh, wait, wait, I don't want to go now. Wait a minute, I give you half of my money. <laughs> the death angel be like, all right, all right. All right. <laughs> no, all right, no. All right, all right. I check you up 20 years later. That's right. Death Angel don't do that. No. Death Angel don't care if you sitting at the table drinking a cup of coffee. That's right. He don't care if you sitting there typing about the center email. He don't care That's if you right. sitting there giving a lecture. Mm. When God says, kill him. Kill him. I gave him or her time to turn from their ways. That's right. I have warned them. Warned them. And they would not hear my warning. No. There's no need for them to be here no longer. No. And he snatched your breath out your body right while you're sleeping with That's your right. husband. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Snatch your breath out of your body. That's right. Right while you're on the construction site. Oh. They wonder why the tractor's driving out of control. You're laying there dead. 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 The Lord said, I kill. That's right. Glory to God and the Lord says, I make, I make it alive. That's right. The message of holiness is designed of God to bring man back to God's original thinking. Oh, yes. You see, the world have left God's mind. Oh, yes. They left God's thoughts, That's what right. God laid out in the scriptures, yeah. how man and woman should be. So God sent the message to make us rethink again. That's right. And if anybody ever heard the word of God, I'm telling you, brother, it make you rethink all over again. Oh, yes. Make you look at yourself in a way you never thought of. Make you see yourself in a mirror. That's right. And the greatest mirror is the scriptures. That's right. All right, son, let's go back to where we were. Let's go back to the foundation. Come on, son. Back in 2 Chronicles 15 and verse 1. Now let's finish up where we were back in the Old Testament. Back in Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 28. Yes. You shall not make...
break any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, uh, nor print, nor print any marks upon you. Who said it? I am the Lord. I am the Lord. Do not prostitute thy daughter. What? Do not prostitute thy daughter. As if getting the ink is not enough. God says don't do what to your daughter. Do not prostitute thy daughter. Look at our young children out here, half naked. Half naked. Hot pants on, showing everything they born with, and you fathers and mothers, yeah. you know something is wrong with you if you don't see nothing wrong with your child out in the street showing her little parts she's born with. That's right. You make her look like something that she's not. Amen. And the Bible says, Do not prostitute thy daughter. The Bible says, Do not prostitute thy daughter. I want it to be good for you preachers that says God don't look at the outward. Right. He look at the heart. Don't tell me that lie. Amen. When God said don't prostitute your daughter, that's not only dealing with her character, it's dealing with how she look that entice men. That's right. Are you listening? In Leviticus 19 and verse 29. You got people over the air now looking at the truth of God uh, upset because our women don't wear makeup. These are sinners. Yeah. They don't even come here. Amen. They say, look at the women. They wear no makeup at all, no earrings, no jewelry, no lipstick, no rouge on the face, nothing. Nothing. One woman cussed. <laughs> One man got so mad, he said, I can't come to that church and lust at nobody. That's right. That's right. You shouldn't be coming here for that. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Amen. The God women should not look like Jezebel daughters. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Do not prostitute thy daughter. Why? To cause her? To cause her to be a And they say my language is vulgar. Amen. I'm going to tell you what the Bible says. <laughs> you see, a lot of folks don't know this is in the Bible. That's right. That's what makes the truth of God the most outstanding, outstanding. Uh, unique message in the earth today. Oh, yes. Because there ain't nobody on social media preaching this. No. They're not doing it. It's no. outstanding. That's right. Like it was in the days of Noah. You didn't have a thousand men up telling you it was going to rain. No. No. no God sent out Noah and Methuselah, two witnesses That's it. against creation. That's right. Let them to know to prepare, amen, for the judgment of God. That's right. Now I'm telling the world, and I thank God. God for the brothers that labor with us Amen. around the world in word and doctrine. Yeah. God Almighty is about to close out creation. Oh, yes. Amen. You can have the largest bank account, and I don't care. Have it whatever you like. If God bless you with a mansion, go ahead. Oh, yes. If God bless you with a fleet of cars, if you're able to drive 10 at one time, miraculous, go ahead. Miraculous. But you better stay in mind right. your soul. Oh, yes. Young man, young woman, young boy, young girl that's living together, not married, walking around like you don't have a care in the world. That's right. Laying with every man you can find and every woman you can pick up and look at. Oh, yes. The only time your heart and mind turn to God is after something happened to you. That's right. And then you're calling some old phony priest. <laughs> That's right. Who want to throw water on you that you should throw back on him. Amen. Don't you know the Bible says the priest was obedient to, the, to faith, the faith. To the faith. That means when the apostles was here, when the priest was around, and they heard the doctrine of baptism in the name of Jesus Christ and the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues, the Bible says the priest. That's right. Well, they were obedient, obedient to the faith. Do you hear this? In the book of Acts, chapter 6 and verse 7. What is it? And the word of God increased. Yeah. Amen. We can say that now. Oh, yes. The word of God increased. Increase. What you mean? More men came. More. And was able to stand with the apostles while they preached the same thing. That's right. It's a beautiful thing when I see the word of God increasing. And God knows, we, listen, we're not just reading this. No, you're not. This thing is being fulfilled in the truth of God itself. That's right. And the saints here in Europe, especially High Wickham, High Wickham can bear witness that they have seen a great Increase. Increase. Many a day I would sit and tell Bishop Johnson of the vision that God gave me. Bishop Johnson told me, he said, I won't, I won't, I won't be allowed to see it. He sat and talked to me in his house. Amen. Uh, he told me, uh, he said, tell me, what did God mm. show you about Europe? Mm. And I pointed that scripture to him. Amen. Right. And then I went to the book of Isaiah, yeah. that a little one shall become a thousand, That's and right. a great one, and a small one shall become a great nation. 
He looked at me and said, he used to rub his head and go, mm. Amen. He said, Pastor Jennings, Pastor Jennings. Oh, yes. He said, God will not allow me to live to see it. He said, but while you tell it to me, I can feel the presence of God. Amen. Amen. We were sitting in his living room. We were sitting in the living room, and I was telling him the things, and the spirit would quicken his body. He said, oh, glory to God. God is bringing the path. I'm serving a real God. Real God. That's right. Are you getting me? That's right. That's right. So when I, when I sit and look at you here and you in the balcony, mm. it brings tears to my eyes because I'm serving Hallelujah. a real God. Oh, yeah. Amen. <laughs> to be able to travel from country to country, oh, yeah. I'm standing in the vision. That's right. I didn't just have a vision, oh, vision. No. I'm standing in it. That's right. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Tra hallelujah. Hallelujah. Traveling in it. That's right. Seeing God's word being declared and God being lifted up. That's right. Higher than any God that ever declared itself. That's right. Go, hallelujah. Glory to God. I don't know if you I'm talking. We stand bold. Oh, yes. For our God. That's right. That's why we tell the world every God is wrong but the God of heaven. That's right. They don't need to bow and pray to no image. No image. It ain't no image got power. No. It ain't no image. Glory to That's God. Right. Have no authority. That's right. Let the world understand that Jesus Christ God. is God. That's right. Almighty. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And besides him. Hallelujah. And God there is no other. That's right. There's no Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The word of God, of God hallelujah. increased. It increased. And the number of the disciples multiplied. And the number of the disciples of the followers multiplied in Jerusalem. They greatly. multiplied where? In Jerusalem. How much? Greatly. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Greatly. Greatly. Amen. Greatly. Beautiful thing to see England and Germany and yes. Belgium and Scotland and Ireland and Paris, France and Switzerland and That's Australia right. and all these different locations and Dubai That's and right. Africa and Mauritius and Rodriguez and Canada and, and the Dominican Republic oh, and, yes. and Haiti. And it's just God's doing. That's right. That's right. Amen. What did he say there? And the word of God increased. The word of God increased. Notice. That one message that God gave his apostles Amen. was for every nation under every the sun nation. in their day. That's right. And that same message is for every nation every under the sun today. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. We don't have to go somewhere and change the message. No. Hoping to get results with a changed message. No, sir. Oh, no. Do it like Jesus said it. That's right. He said, if I be lifted up from the earth, from the earth. I draw all men unto me. Unto so me. the message is different. And it's creating a different people. Oh, yes. God don't want a hard head, stubborn, rebellious people. No. God wanted people that his will is made manifest and it reflects God's character. That's it. He wanted people to be sound, firm, stern, upright. Upright. Solid in the foundation of holiness. That's it. Jesus Amen. declared upon this rock, I'll build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And so many folk, I thought about last night, today, one mother came and talked to me who used to be on the Bishop Bonner. Mm -hmm. She said, when I heard you, I could not believe what I was hearing. She said, I didn't think you were for real. Amen. You preaching holiness? Holy so many came into the truth of God out of that organization. Yeah. Many of the preachers that held some form of standard, they're dying, and the work that they've done, that many of these men have done, their work is dying, dying. also. That's right. 
other things that's creeping in the churches now. Look at some of the churches that y'all came from. And just look at how some of the, those churches change before you left. Amen. Now, if you're going to change, change for the better. That's right. If you're going to change and bring change in the church, bring a change that will bring the people closer to God. That's right. That's right. I didn't come out of sin. No. They come to church to be a sinner. No, no. And I let us say. Amen. 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 Do you hear what the word of God says? In Acts chapter 6 and verse 7, and, and, and the word of God increased. Glory to God, the word of God increased. And the number of the disciples. And the numbers of the disciples. Multiplied in Jerusalem. Multiplied greatly. in Jerusalem greatly. greatly. And a great company of the priests. And a great company of the priests. Were obedient to the faith. Hallelujah to God. Amen. So the priests out there, they're not exempted. Let's go back to the foundation of everything, Williams. Back in 2 Chronicles 15 and verse 1. The Spirit of the Lord came upon Azariah. The son of Oded. son of Oded, when he went out to meet Asa and said, Hear ye me, Asa, Asa and all Judah and, all and, Judah and Jerusalem. The, the, and Benjamin. And Benjamin. The Lord is with you. Listen at this, all of you that are listening and watching. Look at the terms. The Lord is with you. On what term? While ye be with him. Amen. How many here want God to be with them? Say amen. amen. You can say it better than that. Amen. Now look at the terms that God leads. The Lord is with you. Why? While you be with him. While you be with him. If you want God to be with you, amen. you got to be with him. Amen. Now the question is, how do we be with him? That's it. When you are with God, is when you strive to live by the word of the Lord right. that he left to govern self. That's it. When you buy a car today, you have a GPS system. A GPS system is good for those who don't know where they're going. Mm -hmm. Well, the book of scriptures is our spiritual GPS system. That's right. It is to guide us from earth to the kingdom of God. Amen. Are you listening? The Lord is with you. The Lord. Amen. This gives me encouragement. Oh, yeah. The Lord is, is with you. With you while, while ye be with him. If you that are with him, stay with him. Stay with him. I don't care how weak you get, stay with him. That's right. Don't say, Pastor Jim, but I fell while you're down there. Stay with him. Stay with him. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 Don't say, Pastor Jim, and that's not Bible. Jacob was left alone. Alone. And there appeared unto him an angel. That's right. And he wrestled, wrestled. with that angel. That's right. And the angel touched the hollow of his thigh. Of his thigh. And Jacob was left alone. Listen at this. In the book of Genesis, chapter 32 and verse 24. What was it? And Jacob was left alone. Jacob was left alone. And they wrestled a man with they him. They wrestled a man with him. Until the breaking of the day. Until the breaking of day. And when he saw that he prevailed not against him. What happened? He touched the hollow of his thigh. I want you to pay close attention to this. Amen. The angel... The Bible called him a man because that was his shape, that was his form, that was his fashion. That's right. And uh, imagine you're wrestling, wrestling with an angel, mm. a mortal man, wrestling with an angel. That's right. And listen at this. And when he saw that he prevailed not When he saw him, that he didn't get victory over him. He touched the hollow of his thigh. And what? And the hollow of Jacob's thigh was out of joint and as he wrestled with him. That's what happened to all of you sometimes. Oh, yes. The hollow of his thigh got out of joint, meaning got out of place while he was wrestling. That's right. Sometimes what you're wrestling with, sometimes what you're dealing with, the thigh is a close member of the body. Amen. So sometimes what you're dealing with, what you're wrestling with, cause something in your life to get out of place. Out of place. And the mistake that you make when it get out of place, you stop. That's right. You stop and surrender. Amen. And give up and quit. Yeah. And some take a church break. 
Amen. What do you mean? Lay out a church. That's right. Notice the language of the book. And when he saw that he prevailed not against him, what happened? he touched the hollow of his thigh. He touched the hollow of his thigh. And the hollow of Jacob's thigh the was out of joint. of Jacob's thigh was out of place as, as he wrestled with him. As he kept fighting. That's right. Hallelujah. Now, if his thigh was out of joint, some pain was being there. Amen. How many of you got in a circumstance and that thing gave you so much emotional pain, mental pain, that you wanted to quit? That's right. You felt like quitting, didn't you? Oh, yeah. Even though you know God is able, you felt like quitting. And some of you gave in to your feeling. Amen. Hallelujah. You think Jacob wrestling mm. and your thigh is out of joint? Out of, out of joint. As he wrestled with you. You think that don't give pain? My Lord. But look at what the man of God declared. And he said, let me go for the daybreak. The angel said, let me go. For the daybreak. You know, God was testing Jacob. Oh, yes. Man, God tests you. Amen. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? That's right. Let me go. Let me go for the daybreak. The day is breaking. And he said, I will not let Jacob you go. Jacob said, no. You know, the, being, a, being a hard head have its place. That's right. Huh? That's right. Amen. Being hard head and being stubborn has its place. Amen. This is when uh, he was justified being stubborn. That's right. Justified being hard head. In other words, I'm going to be stubborn to that which is against God, and I'm going to submit to that which is of God. That's right. Are you getting me? And he said, let me go for the day breaking. How bad do you want your blessing? Amen. Amen. How bad? How bad do you want the Holy Ghost? That's it. That's do right. you want the Holy Ghost bad enough that you will wrestle day and night day and regardless night. of what get out of place in your life? That's right. How bad do you want it? That's it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How bad do you want to get close to God? That's it. Mm. Wrestling Amen. represent what you're fighting with. That's right. He was wrestling with the angel. That's right. You're wrestling with several things, oh, beating yes. you down. Oh, yes. Some folks say problems make you pray. That depends upon who you are and what the problem is. That's right. Because the problem can be so severe, you don't even feel like praying. That's right. You just don't feel like praying, and you don't feel like fasting, and yet you know you got to and you need to. That's right. Are you listening to the old man? And he said, let me go for the day breaking. Let me go. For the day breaking. Oh, we thank God because the day is breaking. And he said, he I, said will I will not go let thee go. Except, except thou bless me. No, if you want me to let you go, it got to be a fair exchange. That's right. What was Jacob telling them? I'm fighting you for a blessing. Oh, yeah, that's it. The angel, look, look, I got to go back where I come from. Amen. Then Jacob let him know, that's not my problem. No. <laughs> you got to go back. That is not my problem. You here now. That's right. You right here now. Now, wrestling don't mean they just standing there looking at each other. No. They was having it out. Amen. They were going at it, having it out. That's right. In other words, you got to fight. fight. They get your blessing, and you got to fight to keep your blessing. That's right. Stop looking around who you got to fight with. You know who you going to fight with more than anybody? Yourself. Yourself. Your own will. Your own way of thinking. Your own actions. Your own deeds. Oh, yes. God tell you to do this, and you're going to do the opposite. The opposite. And then when you do the opposite, you're going to get into something. That's right. And then you're going to end up falling on your knees, going right back to the one that told you not to do it to begin with. That's right. Are right, you listening to what I'm telling you? And the hollow of Jacob's thigh the was out of joint. of Jacob's thigh? Was out of joint. Oh, red to God, it was out of place. As Hallelujah. he wrestled with him. As... He wrestled with them. And he said, let me go for the day break. <laughs> Amen. Let me go. For the day break. Time is far spent. The day is breaking. And he said, I will not let thee go. Jacob, let him know. Ain't no news to even tell me this. Except thou bless me. 
That's the attitude I want to encourage every child of God to have. That's right. If you're seeking the Holy Ghost, keep wrestling. That's it. Now, not only did Jacob demonstrate vigilance, mm -hmm. he also demonstrated faith. faith. If any of you ask the Lord for anything, anything. and don't believe him, that's right. Don't even have an expectation. That's right. Of receiving one thing. In James chapter 1, and we'll start at verse 5. Did you hear what I said? Amen. If any of you ever ask God for anything, I don't care if it's for deliverance, I don't care what it was for. But you don't believe God? Amen. Don't even think. That's right. You're going to receive anything Amen. whatsoever. In James chapter 1, and we'll start at verse 5. Follow me in your Bible. Follow me in your Bible. Hear me good. James chapter 1 and verse 5. Uh -huh. If any of you lack wisdom, let if him ask of God. If any of you lack God. wisdom, ask of God. Give it to all men liberally and abradeth not. Yes. And it shall be given him. Uh -huh. But let him ask in faith. Hear this. Amen. Why are you asking? What state of mind should I be in? But let him ask in faith. What? Let him ask in faith. It didn't say believe, uh, ask first and believe after. No. Let him ask, ask in faith. While I'm asking, I got to believe in what is coming out of my mouth. <laughs> That's right. That's something. Not ask, believe later. That's right. Let him ask, ask in faith. Your, your, your very request must be in belief. That's right. Let him ask in faith. My very request must be in belief. Amen. Why? But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering. Wait a minute. Not only do I got to be a believer, I have to be a stable-minded believer. Nothing wavering. I can't be, well, sometimes I know God going to do it. A few minutes later, oh, I don't think God going to do it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I know God going to do it. You hear a message, oh, oh I'm going to... I know the Lord going to do it. Yes. By the time the benediction is given, oh, I don't think God going to do it. <laughs> That's right. Come back to the next night. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I got my faith back. Yeah. Go back to your hotel to eat your chicken. I don't think God going to do it. <laughs> That's right. I listening. But let him ask in faith. Let him ask in faith. Nothing wavering. What? Nothing wavering. Nothing wavering. How did the Bible describe the one that's wavering? For he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea. He that wavereth is like the wave of a sea. Driven. Driven. With the wind, with the wind and, and tossed. 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 What you mean? You're unstable. Anyone that got a business, never give the money of that company to an unstable employee to bank. That's right. And then she or he asks him, did you go buy the bank? <laughs> yeah, I went buy the bank. You didn't ask the right question. Did you go in the bank? That's right. You can go buy it by driving without stopping. Amen. You go buy the bank? Oh, yeah. I went buy it. Now, many of us are unstable mentally. And when you're unstable mentally, it brings about emotional instability. That's right. And when you're unstable mentally and emotionally, it will bring about, if you're not careful, physical instability. That's right. That's why some folks say, I don't trust myself around this, around that, and around the other. Mm -hmm. There are some people that can walk by a club, the same club that God brought them out of. Mm -hmm. See, true deliverance is not when you physically come out of something. That's right. True deliverance is when your mind, heart, soul, body, and spirit is free from it. That's right. Because if your body is not there, but your mind is there and your heart is there, you're still there. Oh, yeah. Even if your body is not there, because Jesus said, where your treasure is, meaning where is, wherever that thing is you love. Right. He said, where your treasure is, there, there will your heart be also. That's right. So if your heart is out in the street, you're there. Oh, yeah. Your love is there, which gives the street an influence on you to pull you back in the things that God brought you from. That's, right. That's why God wants your heart. heart. Yes. Your heart is a threat to your own salvation. Yes, it is. Your heart is a threat to your holy walk in God. That's right. That's why when I, people often say, Lord, please make me stable. And most people just talk about being stable in mind. Your mind needs to be stable, 
and your heart Thank needs you, to Lord. be stable. Right. That way your emotions is not everywhere. Amen. You take a man who's emotionally unstable, he'll tell about 20 women in one year, I love you. Oh, yeah. Why, you take a woman that's unstable, she will accept the opposal of about 50 men in six months. Will you marry me? Yes. Would 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 you marry me? Yes. <laughs> Would you marry me? Yes. Just pose it to everybody. That's right. Why? Unstable. Unstable. The yeah. Bible says a double-minded man is unstable in how much? All of his ways. All his ways. You take somebody on the job site. If you're trying to start a business or a company, you can't afford to have unstable employees. No. Your business will never flourish. Your business will never prosper. Your business will not even get off the ground. That's I right. don't care if it's your brother. When you start a business or a company and you institute a rule, you cannot change that rule for your flesh and blood. Because if you bend for your flesh and blood, you're going to bend for somebody else. That's right. That's the way it is with God's word. God. The preacher should not bend for his flesh and blood. That's Until right. the Bible says it like this, immediately I prefer not, not with flesh and blood. That's right. Did you hear this? But let him ask in faith. Ask. In faith. In faith. Nothing wavering. Don't be shaken. For he that wavers is like a wave of the sea. Look how God compared the people. He that wavers he that wave, is like a wave of the sea. What does he do? Driven with the wind Wait a and minute. Tossed. Wait, wait, wait. Amen. Before he's tossed, he's what? Driven. I love to itemize this. <laughs> That's right. Before a thing is tossed, Amen. what's the first effect? Driven. Driven. When you're driven, yeah. you are pushed. Oh, yes. They go a direction you shouldn't go. That's right. You're pushed, driven. Driven. Something's driving you. That's right. And in that state of being driven, what happens? Driven with the wind. Driven with the wind. Driven with the element that's pushing you. That's right. In some cases, the wind is that woman you know. Amen. In some cases, the wind is the money you love. That's right. In some cases, the wind is your job. That's right. In some cases, the wind is social media. That's right. Am I right, I said? That's right. What it says, son? For he that wavers is like a he wave that in the sea. He that wavers is like a wave in the sea. Driven. Driven. With the wind and tossed. And tossed. And he's tossed. And tossed. That thing going to drive him and knock him over. That's They're going right. to toss him in so many places. And he's going to end up in so many predicaments, and they all were avoidable. Amen. If he had stability. For let not that man Listen, think. listen. Listen, hear, hear me good. Give chapter and verse. James chapter 1 and at verse 7. You that are unstable, Amen. you that are driven, you that are tossed, yeah. now the Lord going to attack your mind. For let not that man think. Don't let that man think. That he shall receive anything of the Lord. Well, that contradicts the damnable teaching that come from the mega preachers right. claiming. That's right. God ain't never said claim nothing. No, no. You going out there and touch a car and somebody else driving off with it. <laughs> Amen. Amen. You going out and touching houses that somebody else owns. That's right. That's not faith, that's covetousness. That's right. Because you are desiring someone else's. Someone else's. Listen at the word of God here. For let not that man think. Don't think it, don't think it. That he shall receive Lord, anything God, of the Lord. You won't receive anything? Anything of the Lord. If you're unstable, what will you get? Let not that man think that he shall receive anything. If you toss to and fro, what will you get? Let not that man think that he shall receive anything. If I don't have faith and stable belief in God, what will I get? Let not that man think that he shall receive anything. But I need the Holy Ghost. I believe him sometime, I don't believe him sometime. I don't believe him sometime, I do believe him sometime. What state am I in? Let not that man think that he shall receive anything. Are you listening? Amen. Of the Lord. Anything. Anything? Anything. But I'm praying for a job. Let not that man think that he shall receive anything. I'm praying for a better car. Let not that man think that he shall receive anything. I'm praying for a house. Let not that man think that he shall receive anything. I'm praying that God a blessing with a wife. Let not that man think that he shall receive anything. I'm praying that God bless him with a husband. Let not that man think that he shall receive anything. <laughs> there you hear it. Whether you're a man or woman. That's right. 
Glory and take the prize. <laughs> That's right. Whether you're man or woman, That's right. God spoke plain. For let not this that man touch think. And claim teaching is a lie. Amen. It's a lie. There's not a man of God in the history of the Bible. <laughs> That's right. Not one. That's right. Ever told anybody. Touch it, claim it, it's yours. That's hypocriting. Amen. The Bible speaks plain. Let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. Why? A double-minded man. Wait a minute. What kind of man is that? A double-minded man. Please tell us what is he. Is unstable. In how much? In all his ways. No, I can trust him a little bit. Is unstable in all his ways. I can trust him a at least a little bit. Is unstable in all his ways. All his ways. Amen. Let the church say. Amen. That's right. Let the church say. Amen. some faith in you. Faith. Right. God is too good and too great oh, yeah. that nobody can afford to be a sometime believer. That's right. He made the heavens and the earth Amen. by his power. Amen. Stretched forth the heavens with his understanding. Oh, yeah. Made everything and gave the sea her decree. Oh, yes. And you think your problem is too big, too large, too big. that God can reach from heaven? Change not. Change not. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. Nobody, I don't care if it's race or nationality in the world, is serving God without believing in him. That's right. In fact, for you to come to him, you have to believe that he is. Now, faith is the substance of things hopeful. <laughs> yeah. Amen. If I come to him, Amen. how can I, why would I go to a bank that I don't believe is a good institution? That's right. What do I waste my time for? That's right. The moment you make it up in your mind to come to God, come to God. you first have to believe he even exists. But without faith. Let's get some Bible. In the book of Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 6. That's right. But without faith. Without Belief. Belief. Without faith. Without faith. It is impossible. It's impossible. To please him. But I'm going to church. It is impossible to please him. But I'm on the choir. It is impossible to please him. I'm an usher. It is impossible to please him. I'm visiting tonight. It is impossible to please him. I'm a millionaire. It is impossible to please him. I'm a poor man. It is impossible to please him. Who cares what you are? But without faith. God is talking. Without faith. That goes for the king and queen and duke, and I don't care what position you have. That's right. God Almighty is talking to the world. But without faith, it without is... Without faith. It is impossible. And you don't have to have money to have faith. That's right. That's right. These old churches got you believing the more money you give, that's the more God will do for you. That's out of hell. That's I don't even hell. want a God like that. No. The God that I serve that helped me if I don't have a dime. That's right. I don't have to give no money to pay for my blessing. Oh, everyone the thirsty. Did you hear this? In the book of Isaiah, chapter 55 and verse 1. Let's see, do we got to have money to get a blessing from God? Ho, oh, everyone that thirsty. Anyone that thirsty. Come ye to the water. Come ye to the water. And he that has no money. He that have what? He that has no money. He that have what? He that has no money. He that don't have no money. Come ye. Come on. Buy and eat. Oh, hallelujah. Come on, take off. So you that are watching that go to these churches, $1,000 blessing, $5,000 blessing, $10,000 blessing, you ain't nothing but in a religious racket. That's right. It's just a racket. That's a racket. But the Bible says you don't have to have no money. And he that has no money. He that have no money. Come ye. He says what? Come 
Come ye. No, stay away. Come ye. Stay away. Come ye. Stay away. Come ye. Stay away. Come ye. God said, come on. Come ye. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. He that has no money. Oh, we take God if you don't have a dime. That's right. Come on. Come on. Eh? That's it. Freely come. That's it. Amen. Glory be to Hallelujah. Glory be to God. What did he say? Son? And he that has no he money. He that have no money. Come ye buy and eat. Come ye buy and eat. Yeah, come buy wine come and milk. Come buy wine and what? With wine and milk. Wine and milk. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Let me explain that. Come get the blood of Christ and come get the wisdom of Christ. That's right. For the Bible said that newborn babe desire to send the milk of the word. word. It is written in prison and aside out came blood and water. That's right. And when he served the Lord's supper, he said, in this cup of the New Testament is my blood. In my so blood. the wine represented the blood and the milk represented his wisdom. That's For the right. Bible said that newborn babe Zion. desire to send the milk of the word that you may grow thereby. That's right. So when you come, God wants you to exchange for his wisdom and for his blood and the exchange is yourself. That's right. Right. Are you listening? Come ye by and eat. Come ye by and eat. Come on. Come ye by and eat. Come. Oh, it's a dog. And me, I said. Hey, come by wine and milk. Come by wine. Hallelujah. Come get the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. That's it. What else? And milk. Get milk. Come get the wisdom of God. Without money. Come without money. And without price. But yet he said buy it. Buy. That's right. Huh? Come ye by and he eat. He said buy and eat. And eat. And buy and eat. What does it say, son? And come by wine and milk. He said, come buy. Buy. Wine. And milk. And milk. Without money. And do it without money. And without price. That's buy right. wine, buy milk, without money. Without money. <laughs> what do you mean? Get the blood of Christ. That's it. Get the wisdom of God. That's it. And you ain't got to pay for it. That's it. That's why Peter told Simon, your money, money shall perish with you. That's right. Because you thought the gift of God That's it. will be purchased with money. Be purchased with money. Don't have to have a dime. No, no. Don't have to have a roof over my head. Hallelujah. Don't have to have a car to drive. That's right. Only got one piece of clothing. That's right. But if I believe God, he can give me anything. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. He that come. Hallelujah. To God. Go ahead. Must believe. That's right. Oh, so you must do it. Do you hear what the Bible says? Back in Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 6. Hebrews chapter 11 and 6 says. But without faith. Without faith. It is impossible to please him. It's impossible. Impossible. Why? For he that cometh to God. Wait a minute. Amen. I don't care if you kneel down on your bed to pray before you go there. That's right. If you bless your food. That's right. You're coming to God. That's right. And God Almighty made a statement here. For he that he, cometh to God. I don't care who you are. Oh, no. The color of your skin and what you own. That's right. God ain't paying that no mind. That's right. I want everybody to get this. I meet people all around the world. And the last time I was in uh, England last, uh, in Birmingham, I believe in Birmingham, last year, the purple gang was outside. <laughs> yes, they were. Hebrew Israelites was out there hollering. Yes, Amen. The Bible says he who come to God I must believe. I don't care is. how black you are. No. If you're so black, your eyes is the only thing I see. <laughs> Amen. And, and Amen. someone think that's the street walking by. That's right. If you're so white, you look like milk, and you're so yellow, you look like you're the cousin to butter. My Lord. God declared. For he that cometh to God. Black, he, white, he, brown, he, red, he, yellow, he. It just says he. He. It doesn't matter who you are. That's right. He that come to God. Must believe that Wait a minute. He must do it? Must believe. There's something about unbelief that God don't like. That's right. So if you come to God, the moment you get ready That's to right. come. That's right. That's right. Huh? That's right. So hallelujah. Hallelujah. Why are you getting what I'm talking about? The moment, did you hear what the word said? He that cometh to God. While I'm getting my mind, I'm making my mind, all right, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to go pray now. Yes. It says what? He that cometh to God must believe. I'm on my way. That's yeah. right. Yeah. If I don't believe, ain't no need for me to come. That's right. But he that cometh. He that cometh to God. Cometh. Cometh. Spell that. C-O-M-E-T-H. Notice it didn't say he that comes, singular. He that cometh. He that cometh means he that's consistent. That's right. That's You're right. constantly doing it. That's right. Every time you do it, how you got to do it? He that cometh to God must believe. That's the commandment. Must believe. Must believe. 
You got a tumor? Must believe. And you keep coming to God to dissolve it? Must believe. Don't look at how long you have it. Don't look at it. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. Pastor did but at the pain I got. Never mind that. That's right. He that come to God must believe. Hallelujah. Pastor did the doctor gave me six months. What should I do? Must believe. Must believe. Doctor said I'll lose my sight in three more weeks, but what must I do? Must believe. Oh, let's take a hallelujah. Hallelujah. Doctor gave me up for death. Hallelujah. What shall I do? Must believe. Must believe. Yes. You can come to me and pray all I want. That's right. Do you believe him? He that cometh to God must believe. Hallelujah. Do you hear this? For he that cometh to God. You know, folks, they testify. Thank God for Pastor Jennings being an <laughs> apostle. You know, the apostles did this. The apostle did that. The apostles also preach what I'm preaching. <laughs> yes, they did. Told the church to believe. That's right. That's right. I'm not a healer. That's Someone right. said, what is it? an apostle in that Bible were healers? No. They weren't healers. God is the healer that worked in them. That's it. The healer is God. That's right. That's right. Well, Pastor Jennings, I disagree. They took the bodies of many of the people and laid them out in the street, and they believed that as Peter's shadow overshadowed them, mm. they would be healed. Yeah, that's right, but it was God that was in Peter. That's right. Peter's shadow can pass over anybody he wants. That's but right. But God Almighty don't work, you're going to lay there sick and die in Peter's shadow. See now that I... God is talking here. In Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse Deuteronomy 39. Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse 39, God says, See now that, that I, I, even I, even I, am he, am he and there is no and God there with is me. No God, there is no God with me. I kill. There is no God with me. And God declared what? I kill. I am the killer. And I make alive. I make alive. I wound. I wound. And I heal. Who do it? And I heal. Hallelujah. Look at your condition that you have. That's right. Mentally, emotionally, go ahead. physically, go ahead. spiritually. Amen. Lord says, look unto me all the ends of the earth. That's right. For I am God. That's right. He declared to be ye saved. And I heal. This is what have happened to the church. Hallelujah. The prosperity preachers done hijacked the Bible. That's right. Hijacked it. That's right. They're not teaching you to believe in God so you can be right with him. No. Just believe for cars and houses and minks and chinchillas and foxes. That's right. I That's wouldn't right. care if you have a live mink and it's not dead around your shoulders. Amen. But without faith. If you don't believe God for salvation. It is impossible Mansions, to cars, money. Oh, that's good. That's good. But it ain't near better than God. No way. Because all that stuff you can't take with you. That's right. You can't take a new house. You can't take your car. You can't take your wife. You can't take your sons. That's you right. can't take your daughters. That's right. The Bible says, how do the wise man die? As the fool. As the fool. And as soon as you wise people or you people that think you wise realize you're not as wise as you think, you will submit to God like a fool. That's right. I know what I said just over your head for some. <laughs> Somebody said, well, you didn't mean to say that. You mean to tell me I got to submit to God like a fool? Yeah, Paul said I'm a fool for Christ. Fool for Christ. You see, the world look at you as foolish and you want to surrender everything to walk with God. That's right. The world will look at you as wise when you're gullible after everything and don't include God. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? But without faith, it is impossible to please. The faith of Jesus Christ is very important to believe. Okay. Now, let me enlarge on this. Don't look at the faith of Jesus Christ of just believing that he will heal or deliver. But the faith of Jesus Christ is also, you got to believe his teaching. Teaching. All of it. All of it. You must believe in his teaching. That's right. And you cannot denounce the apostles and believe in Jesus. That's right. Get that? That's right. Hear me good. Hear me good. You that are watching, get this. That's right. You cannot denounce the apostles and believe in Jesus. And believe in Jesus. Because Jesus told his apostles, he that heareth you. Give me, I believe you. St. Luke chapter 10. 10 six, uh, and verse 16. 10, 16, I believe that's what I want. St. Luke chapter 10 and verse 16. Says what? He that heareth you. Look at what he told his apostles. He that heareth you. He that hear you. Heareth me. Listen, when you hear Peter said, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sin, you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost, for the promises unto you 
revealing to your children and to them that is afar off, even as many of the Lord our God shall call, and with many other words that he testified and exalt, saying, Save yourself. That's it. When you heard Peter say that, what did Jesus say? He that heareth you heareth me. Amen. What did Jesus say? He that heareth you heareth me. You ignore the apostles. That's right. You ignore Jesus. And he that despises and to you. all of my millions of Catholics that watch us around the world, there is no Bible that ever said Peter was the first pope. No. You told that lie on him. <laughs> That's right. And obviously you don't believe it because if you read the Bible, Peter was a married man. That's right. The Bible says how Jesus healed his, uh, mother healed his mother-in-law. Mother and he didn't get a mother-in-law by outside fishing. <laughs> That's right. He ain't catch your wife out of water. <laughs> That's right. So if your pope was of God like you claim he is, claim. he wouldn't tell the priest not to marry, and that's why the priest is having so much problems of keeping their drawers on. That's right. Am I right? That's right. <laughs> that's right. How in the world are you going to try to compel a grown man to do what's not in the a way that God man. didn't create him? That's right. God made the woman for the man. For the man. And that's why you got so many priests that took on the fairy land. They amen. became fairies and hobgoblins. Yeah, and, amen. Amen. Undercover. Amen. They, that's why they love Hooligans. the, uh, uh, what's that, the confession booth. Yeah. So you can admit what you want to do with them. That's right. Go ahead, Pastor. You bunch of hypocrites and heathens. That's right. Everybody got to come back to Bible or to hell you're going. That's it. Someone say, ain't you worried about being killed? No. No. <laughs> when you were about threats, stand in line. That's right. Stand I've been in threatened line. So long until I can't even count. That's right. I've been threatened by the Masons. I've been threatened by other organizations. I don't care. It's all <laughs> over social media wherever I am. It's not like I'm running. I'm not ducking. I'm declaring to the world. There's only one gospel established by one God. Everybody got to do the same, same thing. thing. They got to follow the same method. That's right. That's right. Come on, God. That's it. To what the Bible says. Amen. If you don't come back to what the word of God say, Mr. and Miss, you're going to lift up your eyes in hell. That's right. Someone say, I don't believe in hell. You may not believe it's nighttime out there. Let's see what your unbelief make the sun come back up and get rid of darkness. That's no. Right. Oh, no. I remember Jehovah Witness told me years ago there was no hell. And I grabbed his hand and turned my mother's stove on and act like I was moving his hand close to the fire. He fought me like a mad dog. <laughs> no, 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 Gino, no, Gino. I said, give me your hand. You don't believe in hell. <laughs> he was wise. He, he was wise. I let his hand go. He said, huh. <laughs> Amen. If there was no hell, I wouldn't be preaching tonight. No. You think I'm going to come all the way to the Netherlands and preach to a, 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 to a country that's full of atheists? That's right. That's right. Full of atheists and all of these satanic churches, churches. opened up and through Europe. Amen. All these satanic churches. And do you know the governments now of the world is giving the satanic churches tax-exempt status? My Lord. Giving them tax-exempt status where they made the pentagram their logo. Mm. It's amazing how folk, they won't believe in God, right. but they will not argue with you over the existence of the devil. That's right. That's right. And the devil have handcuffed these preachers. So-called fake Christians that smoke and gabble don't see nothing wrong with living the life that is equal to the conduct of a dog. Now, this is a rebellious people. What did the Holy Ghost say? In Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 9. Do you hear this? That this is a rebellious people. Hey, do you hear? Amen. Amen. That's why they wanted John's head to be removed. Oh, yeah. He was an extraordinary prophet. That's right. He, he, he didn't sound like the other fellows that was out there. That's right. And they don't wish death upon us and put contracts out on us. We had a fella call the church. I believe it was last week before I came here. Hey, I believe it was last week, week before last, from the homosexual community. Tomorrow, don't be surprised if we come by there and burn the church down. I'm not running. Quiet, well, man, not. I sit on the church wall like a little kid waiting for you to come by. <laughs> that's right. Just sit there and wiggle my feet. That's right. And ask you, are, are they here yet? Well, that's are right. they here yet? Are they here? Are they here yet? Amen. I was made a preacher. Yes, you were. Amen. And being made a preacher, brother, I stand firm on what that book says. That's right. And when I tell you I don't care who, I'm not in the pulpit to make friends. No, I'm in the no. pulpit to save souls. That's right. 
Do you hear this? That this is a rebellious people. What kind of people did God said is in the earth? This is a rebellious people. Look at the murder and killing and bloodshed that is taking place in everybody's country. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Preachers raping the girls raping. in church. Oh, yes. Preachers, men of God, sodomizing your sons. That's right. You send your son to get counsel from your Jerry Curl head, manicured, nail, Cadillac driving reverend. <laughs> Amen. And when you come in there, his pants is hanging down. His pants is hanging. My Lord, my Lord, my Lord. Mm. There's nothing but a bunch of pulpit perverts. That's right. One man said, you know what? I don't, when Pastor Jennings just preached the gospel, I like that. But when he started talking about different preachers, it bothered me. Mm. Why would it bother you? Why would it bother you? If you know you got your drawers on, it shouldn't bother you. That's right. A real man ain't got a problem with what I'm preaching. No. But a gay man, a gay won't stay. Yeah. I don't hate the gay community. Amen. And when I preach against their conduct, oh, he's a gay basher. Ain't no gay basher. No. All right. If your brother get hooked on drugs and start taking your mama chicken, your mama bacon, your mama hamburger, your mama lamb, your mama pork chops, out the freezer and walk up and down the neighborhood selling them to make money, does that mean you don't love your brother? You love your brother, love but you hate his conduct. That's it. It's the conduct I'm talking about. That's it. That's right. Man, let me make it raw and hard and bitter. Your meat don't belong no. in his seat. No. Am I right, I said? That's right. Now you're getting what I'm talking about. That's right. That's right. A real man ain't got no problem with it. No. Not a real man. Remember that. That's right. Remember that slogan. Coin it. Phrase it. Put it on TikTok. <laughs> a real man don't watch. Not a real man. That man's meat That's right. in his seat. That's right. That's right. He was a real man first. He came in, went to work. <laughs> Seeing the boss, yo, what's up? What's up, Jim? Come back out. That's right. Real man. A real man. Real man. He go to church. He go to church several times. Sitting under some preacher, let the church say amen. <laughs> let the church say amen again. Oh, I was glad when he said unto me. <laughs> Hallelujah. Let us go into the house of the Lord. The house of the Lord. That's right. Of the Lord. <laughs> After a while, you After see while. that same man. Now he coming to work. Three months later. <laughs> That's right. Always biting his lips, standing. A real man is just standing. Yo, what's up, Jimmy? What's happening, man? Now he's. That's right. Like a little kid got to go to the bathroom. Yeah. That's the devil out of hell. That's the devil. That's the devil. I don't hate no man. I don't hate no woman. No. But your conduct is of the devil. Thou shalt not lie with mankind. Let's get some Bible. In the book of Leviticus. You ain't never seen a male dog. Mm -hmm. Mount up on a male dog. No. When two male dogs see each other, look, when that male dog see a female, he's happy. <laughs> <laughs> he's jumping around. He's going around him. <laughs> Am I right? That's right. But when that male dog see another male dog, <laughs> Show the dog got more sense than you have. Amen. Amen. Every species in the world yeah. conduct itself according to the way God made it. That's right. Other than sick-minded man. Sick man. God said he made you for his glory. 
And you so sick in the head and so full of the devil and so hard head, so arrogant, so self-righteous, you said, I'm my own man. You your own man? Mm. Then let's see me, let's see, can you deliver yourself out of the hospital? That's right. Let's see, can you get yourself out the grave? Yes. Let's see, can you reverse your terminal illness? Mm. You're not your own man. You're nothing but a piece of dust. That's all. Amen. And that's why you dust go back to dust. That's right. God has a way of proving to everybody, without him, you're nothing. Amen. And that's why social media around the world don't like my frank talking and outspoken because we come tell them direct what the word of God and I don't care if you don't like it. That's right. I'm not preaching for ratings. Oh, no. I'm not preaching to make friends. Oh, no. I'm preaching to please God and to save your soul from a burning hell. That's right. Come on, son. Thou shalt not lie with mankind. The Bible said thou shalt not lie with mankind. As with womankind. As. As. With In other mankind. words, don't behave with the man like you behave with the woman. That's right. Uh -huh. Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. Yeah, they let you know there's something the woman do. The man ain't even trying. That's right. Don't need to try. Don't need to try. There should be a quote in the 70s, don't even try it. <laughs> That's right. Do you hear? Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with you womankind. you find grown men sit right in church while when I touch this subject. Oh, man, what's wrong with this man? What's wrong with him? You know why they get offended? Because their brother is gay. Brothers. Their cousin. Yeah. Hey, Amen. Their daddy got a, a, a twitch in his, sit, in, in his stitch. And the That's bishop right. they go to from Flower Town. That's right. They used to being going to the gay community. Used to. Well, if you hate gays, I don't hate them. Are they allowed to come in the church? They come, here, they come everywhere we are all the time. That's right. Homosexuals, lesbians come everywhere I go. Everywhere. Because they respect this preacher. That's you right. You know how many homosexuals make comments on social media? Pastor Jennings, I know my lifestyle is wrong. I agree with you 100%. You are the first person that made me realize I was not born this way. It's a spirit that I'm dealing with. That's right. Let's see how many genders in it in the book of Matthew. Book of Matthew. For the man leave father and mother. Right. Let's see what the Bible say, how God made them in the beginning. That's right. Let's skip the gender. That's right. Because now, I don't know whether the discussion is taken here in Parliament, but back in America at the, uh, uh, the nation's capital where the wicked abide, the congressmen of the wicked country of America is arguing Hard with to. each other, yeah. trying to find out or trying to come up with an explanation, what is a woman? That's right. Can you imagine that? And listen, and these fellows are married to a woman. Married to a woman. Their mama is a woman. Yeah. And these dumb, ignorant, grown men, what's a woman? So I, I did a webcast one day, and I answered it. Your mama! That's, That's right. what a woman is. That's right. Your mama! Your mama. Like God, man, all type of uh, social media venues hijacked that segment Amen. and put it everywhere. Amen. Plain and sweet. Your mama. Your mama. Yeah, your mama is a woman. That's right. That's what a woman is. Your mama. Your mama. You gay folk. You can't. You can't. Uh, you can't uh, have your flowers come on you. No. Hey man, your body don't go through your purification process. No. And you can't carry your baby. No. In China now. In China now. The wicked country of the dragon. China right now is running tests on impregnated Chinese men, and the Chinese men, many of them, are volunteering to I be know. tests. Uh, I run a test on them and see, can they carry a baby like a woman? Carry. Why is it that man hate the way God made them? That's right. Why is it? Why is that? What happened to men? What? Why you think so many viewers get shocked at all these men following us all over the place? That's right. A man that's a real man don't mind being led by a real man. That's right. That's right. All right, listen. That's right. Imagine I'm in the military, in the Marines, in a platoon of about 1,500, and our sergeant is going to come out, tell me we're going to take the hill. And he come out the uh, tent with a ballerina gown and ballerina shoes and a magic wand and say, come on, we're going to take the hill. You follow me, child? <laughs> Who in the world going to take him serious? We're take him seriously. If That's the enemy see him coming and get ready to shoot, they're going to be like, huh? You, you, you see that? You see that? Oh that must be secret weapon. That's secret right. weapon. They got secret weapon. That's right. I'm in Europe, and I declared in them from America. Amen. America, under Biden, and Europe 
or rather England under the king. Amen. And every other European country. They are trying to force Africa to accept homosexuality. That's right. And the different presidents of the African nations are coming together. Yeah. Saying no. No. We won't stand for it. And as a result of the African nations one by one standing against it, Biden, mm -hmm. Congress, Parliament in England, Parliament in the other European nations have banded together to set embargoes My Lord. against Africa. If any medicine they need, block the ship. My Lord. Any grain they need to feed their children, stop the grain from coming in. Any food that the mother needs for her baby, let the mother and the baby starve right. until African men agree to drop their pants. My Lord. Africa, keep your pants up. Amen. Up That's right. And be a man. Be a man. That's right. Imagine President Biden, the president of the country where I live, yeah. think more of a man backside than he do a starving baby and a starving mother. My Lord. That you are willing to persecute an entire nation. My Lord. And Europe is right along with him. Amen. America is the stepchild of Europe. Yes. And they got the same spirit and same mind. That's right. Whoever thought that men would be in authority and would be more loyal to a man's behind. <laughs> My Lord. I never knew a behind can cause so much loyalty. That's right. <laughs> That's right. They ought to take the symbol of the lion off the flag yeah. here in Europe and take the eagle off the dollar Amen. and just put a behind on it. <laughs> Don't Amen. say in God we trust. In booty we trust. <laughs> Am I right on that? That's right. That's right. Amen. Right. I'm an independent preacher. See, I ain't afraid of prison. I'm not afraid of nobody jail. No, you're not. I'm not afraid of no authority on this planet. That's right. The Lord God has spoken plain in that Bible. That's it. And before I turn my back on this, I'd rather go to jail or be put to death first. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. What did the Holy Book say? In the book of St. Mark, chapter 10, and at verse 6. I said there's only two genders. That's right. No in between. No in between. I hear, hear me, hear me, hear me, hear me, hear me good. Amen. There's only two genders. Only two. And let's hear the Bible talks about it. Mark chapter 10 and at verse 6. Glory to God. But from the beginning of the creation, God made them male and female. Give at verse 5. At verse 5. Be quick. And Jesus answered and said unto them, for the hardness of your heart, he wrote you this precept. Yes. But from the beginning of the creation. From the beginning of the creation. God made them male. Wait a minute. This was done in the beginning. That's right. He knew what he wanted in the beginning. In the beginning. He knew what he purposed in the beginning. Amen. He knew what he ordained in the beginning. He ain't made no mistake. He ain't made no flaws. So if any of you upset, that's your business. That's right. Hey Amen. Don't get mad at me. Listen, the king of England is not the one responsible for the law of marriage, nor was his mother. It was his mother. Biden and every president before Biden and every false president that come after Biden. That's right. Not one. Not one. Establish the law of marriage. That's right. The only one that established God's law is God. Is God. That's why God don't trust you men. You're so wicked. You're so full of hell and so of the devil. That's right. Listen at the two genders in the Bible. But from the beginning of the creation. From the beginning, chapter and verse. Mark chapter 10 and at verse 6. From the beginning. Of the creation. Of time. God 
made them male. God made them male. And female. And female. That's it. For this cause, For this cause shall a man leave God, his father and mother. Listen, the, the, God made male and female, and for that reason of him making male and female, shall a man, shall a leave, man father leave father and mother, father and, mother and, and cleave to his wife. Amen. Amen. Ain't no man can be your wife. No way. I don't care. He can wear a little mini made gown and put on high heels and walk around and, and he think he looks sexy for his man. You look like a broken train wreck. That's a, that's a train wreck. That's right. I know you on social media don't like it. I hope you blow social media up. <laughs> Pastor right. Jennings ain't dodging from the, uh, the homosexual community. I'm in Europe now. If you, if you and are. Europe got a large, they got a large homosexual community right here in Amsterdam. That's right. And I take the government on with the Bible and prove to every politician in Europe That's that it. you are liars that say you believe in God and promote homosexuality. Promote. Every European politician that endorse it, you's a liar. That's including right. Including your mama, your brother, your daddy, and your pastor. Amen. You are a liar. But from the beginning of the creation, God said, from the beginning of the creation, from the beginning of time, God made the male, hold on, God made the male no, and female. No, the American government. God made the male and female. God. And who would get upset with me? Who would get? But a cross-minded fool. That's right. When I preach this and you turn red, something wrong with you. That's right. That's Why right. Why are you so red? Are you blushing about the thing? <laughs> huh? Did I hit you where it hurt? I hope I did. Are you nudging somebody? You know what? Why did you bring me here? Yeah. He hate, I told you he's a gay basher. <laughs> hey, Call man. me whatever you like. See, every man that's gay, don't act it. No. A lot of them is on the down low, lift weight, barbell boys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes. Barbell boys. Amen. Voice is just as deep and graspy as mine. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. listen to the old man. <laughs> Are you getting what I'm telling you? Amen. Oh, dear, Pastor Denny, you preach this everywhere. That's right. That's right. It's spreading like a wildfire. That's right. That's right. And one of the things that's promoting it like crazy, social media. Social media. Look how many children now in elementary school. Do you know this is a curriculum in America? Oh, yes. Homosexuality became a school curriculum in America. They don't mind bringing that in the schools, but they want to get rid of black history in the schools. That's right. They want to teach same sex how to lay with each other, but they, right. want to, they don't want to teach the people of the brutality of slavery and selling the slave and how they was raped and used and abused. Amen. And none of the preachers are saying no, nothing. No, they're not. Oh, I thank God for the truth of God. Amen. <laughs> Go back to the foundation so I can knock off. Back in 2 Chronicles chapter 15 and at verse 1. Let's finish up 2 Chronicles 15 and 1. And the Spirit of God came upon, came upon Azariah, Azariah, the son of Oded. You got to have the Spirit of God to come Spirit upon the man God. today. That's right. Hallelujah! Glory to God. That's right. When the Spirit of God come upon the man, he has stand flat-footed. Yes, he will. And tell the world what they must do. That's right. He don't care if they hate it, they kill Jesus. They killed they some of the apostles. That's right. But if God truly make that man, there is no fear in him at all. At all. Amen. Amen. I know many folks say, wow, this is different. I've never seen nothing like this before. That's right. Why he sounds so mean? He sounds so harsh. You that think like that is because you've been raised around sugar. Oh, yeah. You're sugar babies. You know the kind of church you go to, the preacher don't even raise his voice. Huh. He just tell you, children of God. <laughs> That's right. God is love. That's right. And if you treat your neighbor right, right. you have the love of God. That's right. That's right. Once in a while, check on your neighbor. See how he's doing. If he's sick, children of God, That's right. give him some water. <laughs> if he's down, children of God, yes. give him tea and biscuits. That's right. <laughs> Amen. It's like a child that come out of a spoiled house home. It's very spoiled. The child used to having his and her way. That child go to grandma and grandpa's house who won't tolerate it. 
that child know what he and she can get away with at home. That's right. Can't put that stuff over on grandpa. At home, it can come outside and run in the refrigerator, don't wash his hands, and run all over the couch and stand on the coffee table with his shoes on. Mama just say, Billy, stop it. And he say, no. Amen. And he just stay there. Amen. Go to grandpa's house, jump on grandpa's couch, grandma come in there. He don't see it. He turn around. That's right. He stepped down from the couch. Grandma ain't had to open her mouth. That's right. In other words, people know the atmosphere and the place where they can get away with anything. Oh, yes. I want to get this deep in your mind and heart. Nobody will get away from God. That's right. Acts 2.38. Then Peter said unto them, repent. And stood down. You that been in these false man-made religions where you bow your head and raise your hands and thought you were saved. You watch some liar on television or on social media and you touch the screen and repeated some sinner's prayer or you went to some church and the priest threw water on you and right. baptized you in an upright bowl yeah. and you thought you was baptized. Preacher told you prayer, sinner's prayer ain't never been in the Bible. That's right. You're going to come on back and believe what's written and then practice what's written. That's it. If you want to be Bible right, scripturally correct, yeah. here's what you got to do. Acts chapter 2 and verse 38. Hear this. Then Peter said unto them, repent. That's the first thing God wants you to do after you hear the word of God. He wants you to be sorry about your sins. That's right. You a sinner? Sure, you know you are. You ain't got to ask him what is a sinner. That's like asking me what's a dog. You know it ain't a cat. <laughs> That's right. Huh? That's right. You know what a sinner is? Amen. Amen. Like some of you tonight, when you leave here, you're going to find a pub and open your whiskey. Yeah. Open your bar and your cigarettes. You know the cigarettes you got in your car or in your truck, in your glove compartment, in your back pocket. Hmm. Your uppers and your downers. Yeah. Your speed. Your beer. Your bar in your house. Bar in your house. Where you and your friends come together and watch the ball game. That's right. Cuss and yell and scream and fall out. And then go to church on Sunday and sing out of a hymn book. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, God in three person, blessed Trinity, you old liar. Why don't you stop playing with the Lord? That's right. Repent. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Yeah, God made me like he made the apostle Paul. Oh, yes. Paul said, though I be rude in speech, but not in knowledge. I know what I said sound rude, but it's Bible. It's Bible. I didn't come down here to say, oh, he's a bad sinner. Look, why don't you stop your wrong? Stop your wrong, Johnny. That's right. Johnny, stop your wrong. That's right. Mm, I'm not doing that. Oh, and you no. a grown man. Grown man. I'm going to step to you like the man you claim you are. That's right. And I'm going to step to you with Bible. That's right. Because grown man, one day your body going to be cold. Laying up in a morgue. Oh, yes. You only die two ways, with God or without him. Without. Your family's priests can say all the nice words about you, have a big photo of you. Oh, yes. Johnny was a dedicated man to his wife. Johnny had three beautiful kids. Let us remember the good. <laughs> That's right. Let us remember the good. That's right. And Johnny. Oh, think of Johnny. He was here helping us wash cars to raise money. I think of Johnny. I remember when he gave out turkeys on Thanksgiving. Oh, Johnny. That's right. Did Johnny die obeying God? He obeyed God. Let's come back to reality. That's right. Life is real. It's not a myth. It's God's way or no way. Amen. Repent. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Repent. And be baptized. And be baptized. Every one of you. How much of you? Every one of you. How? In the name of Jesus Christ. For what? For the remission of sins. How you get your sins washed away then what did the Lord promise? And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Anybody Ghost. Anybody want to be right tonight, Bible right, and want to be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ, stand on your feet, Amsterdam. Do that in here. Stand on your feet. Stand on your feet. Oh, yes, God.
you that are standing, go to the back. All of you that are standing, go right to the back. All of you that are standing, go right to the back. Hallelujah to God. Said mightily, mightily grew. That's right. The word of the Lord. The word of the Lord. And the word of God increased. Word of God increased. And the number of his disciples multiplied in Jerusalem greatly. Do that over the air and think this just happens in America. You're hey, wrong. No, you're wrong. You ought to hook up and travel with us sometime. That's right. Or right, thank God this happens everywhere in the world we go. That's right. You know why? I'm not preaching. That's right. God is preaching. God is the preacher. God is preaching in us. Yes. Is that Bible? He told his apostle, it is not you that speaketh, that speak. but the voice That's right. of my father or the voice of God speaketh in you. Thank you for listening, brothers and sisters. Come on back tomorrow. Come on back tomorrow. Service will begin. God willing, at 11 o'clock, let us all stand. Elder Fletcher will close us out in prayer. Let us pray. Almighty God, we come to thee. Thank you for this convocation. We thank you for how you look down upon pastor and all the ministering brethren. We give you all the glory and all the honor that's due unto your holy name. Lord Jesus, we come to thee ask you to remember the people, God. If any sick among us, Lord, touch them from the crown of their heads to the sole of their feet. Whatever the people, God, are going through, take them through. Without faith, it's impossible for us to please you. Lord, increase our faith that we trust you, believe you in everything. Let the word of God abide in us. Bless us to be faithful unto thee that we'll be ready to go back with you when you come. All these blessings we ask in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And lo, all the saints say, Amen. Amen.